Well, as the debate continues over what color Monica's pants exactly are, <laughs> horror purple. movie fans. Purple. We're still saying purple here. <laughs> horror movie fans are going to love this. The movie Mr. Hush, shot here in Pike County. It was just released on DVD this week. And here once again to talk about the cult film is executive producer David Madison. And you may recognize the guy next to him from Clerks and Mallrats, Brian O'Halloran, making the long drive from Staten Island, New York. Here. Thank you, you very much, sir. Not at all, not at all. Thanks for having me well, on. Welcome, to, welcome to our area. Of Love course, it. our movie, we had to bring in. I, I, this is exciting. It's, it's a Friday, and the guys are here to talk about Mr. Hush, which just got released. Netflix, Amazon, oh, you can find it anywhere in the country now, yes, right, David? We're, yeah, we're actually in Redbox. And, uh, which is Net very hard, hard to get into Redbox. You know, Net Redbox essentially only takes a handful of films every week, and we were honored to be one of the films that you chose to, to uh, this week to have us highlighted as one of the... And we're number nine right now as one of the most rented films in Redbox. That's huge, because you were 13 yesterday. Uh, I'm paying well, attention we, to your Facebook. Well, you know, <laughs> we jumped up those... Uh, uh, those four spots. <laughs> it's, just, it's only been three days, too, because it's based on a seven-day cycle, so I'm really excited about how well it's doing. Now, for somebody that may be thinking about going out to Redbox and getting the movie, what, what exactly is the plot? Explain it to us here. Well, Mr. Hush is, in theory, a love story, believe it or not. Uh, it's about our hero, Holland Price, who uh, uh, who is tortured over a ten-year span by uh, the antagonist, Mr. Hush, uh, and it, it's really about love that's lost on both ends, both our hero and our villain. And and it's just a good old-fashioned horror movie. It's 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 can't be fun, and and if you're looking for like a Sora hostel, this isn't the film for you. It's more of a, a throwback film of like Fright Night or Lost Boys or Near Dark. It's like an '80s throwback film. And somebody who picks up the movie and is watching it locally, will they recognize where you shot some of these? Yeah, we shot it entirely in Pike County in Milford. Uh, so if you're from Pike County, you'll see like the courthouse and the sheriff's office in the main strip. Was it hard to get the permits and all that to shoot? I feel like a lot of people now are moving to Pennsylvania, to northeastern Pennsylvania, to shoot these movies. No, I mean, it, they, the, the county was fantastic, and the beauty of it is that the, the, the county has such a rich heritage in film that uh, it was just a natural fit for us to shoot the movie there. Talking about Mr. Hush here on PA Live, and Brian's in the movie as well. Make a, a lot of 80s icons, icons and, and Brian from the ni 90s icons, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, are you, were you working with David? Like, you added a stinger to the movie, basically, you're... Yeah, um, so when uh, David, I've known for a while now, uh, said that he wanted to do a stinger part to his DVD release, uh, he had called me in, and so uh, we shot out... Where was this again? We actually shot it in Lords Valley in Milford, Pennsylvania. Brian was really kind and gracious to come out and uh, help us uh, shoot the stinger, and it really is a great tie-in for eventually, hopefully, the sequel. Mr. Hush 2. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Will you keep that in northeastern Pennsylvania as well? Sure, have you already certainly. like started? Yeah. Do you have a well, script and all that? Or? Yeah. Well, the, the the area plays such a key part of the film that it's important that we keep it up here. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and Brian, I mean, obviously, you know, I don't know how much work you've done in northeastern Pennsylvania, but you've done quite a lot of work in the tri-state area mm -hmm. throughout New York and New Jersey as well, shooting a lot of movies. Yeah. I mean, uh, I've been. Sh I've sh this will be my third film that I shot here in uh, Pennsylvania, the state of. I mean, I, I was part of the happening of M Night Shyamalan's The Happening, which was based around the Philadelphia Valley Forge area. I did a movie a couple of years ago, a horror comedy called Brutal Massacre, and that was shot up in the Allentown Bethlehem area. Oh, okay. So um, you're coming right. You're coming right up the turnpike. Exactly. Is what, pretty much. Is what it sounds like. <laughs> I, right. I feel. I feel like in ten years I'll make my way to eventually California. You know, <laughs> <laughs> just, if I do it state by state. Right, so. We wish you the best of luck not with all, that. Not at all. Mr. Hush, it's available. Uh, on DVD right now, all the online outlets, and in Redbox as well. Uh, so very good. Congratulations on the DVD release, and, and Brian, thank you for thank stopping you. down. Oh, thank you. Nice Monica, you. Great. Thank what's you. coming up here on PA Live? Well, we are going to do a color demonstration for you. Okay, we've got blue pants. Ready? Purple shirt. This is Mike. <laughs> this is Mike, our intern. Thank you, Mike. We appreciate it.